Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is episode 27 of Learn Lightroom 5. And in this episode we're going to do some selective color. And what selective color is, you have a color photograph and you usually take out the color in the entire photograph except for one specific thing you want to be in color. And in this case I have this leaf. I want the leaf to be in color and I want everything else, the grading and all the background, to be monochrome, black and white. And what made me think of doing this is I do a photo critique series on my website and on YouTube and somebody sent in a bunch of photographs to be critiqued and one of the shots was a selective color shot. And it's very easy to do in Lightroom. Now there's a number of different ways you actually can do it in Lightroom. I'm going to show you what I think is the best way. And it's really two main steps. The first step is you go to the HSL Color B&W panel right here. And what we're going to do is we go under the Saturation tab and we're going to turn the saturation down on all the colors we're not interested in. Now in this case, um, as I look at the leaf, I could see there's reds in it. So if I turned red down, you see I'm losing some of the red in the leaf. So I, I want to leave reds up. There's obviously some oranges there, so I don't want to mess with the oranges. So I'm going to leave those alone. There are any yellows there? No. So I'm going to turn yellow all the way down. Is there any green in that leaf? Well, yeah. But you know what? I'm going to turn that a little. It's just such a tiny bit. I'm turning that down too. Now, aqua. There's no aqua. I know. There's no blue. We're going to turn all that down. We're going to turn purple down. And we're going to turn magenta down. So all we have, anything saturated, is the red, the orange. All the other colors we just wiped out. Now, we're not done yet. That's step one. Now step two is we want to get rid of all the other color that's not the leaf. And we do that with the brush. So we click on the brush and we're going to double click on effect or you could hold the alt or option key down and effect turns into reset. And you could click on that and it resets the sliders. We're going to use uh, saturation. We're going to go down to saturation. Saturation all the way down. I want to use a soft brush, so I'm going to have feather all the way up, and I'm going to have auto mask on. All right, so this brush, I'm going to have a, a, obviously a really big brush. You could resize your brush, I mentioned many times, with the bracket keys. The left bracket key makes it smaller, the right bracket key makes it bigger. If you guys have those um, mice with a roller in the middle, you could use that. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to paint on the photograph and we're going to paint away theoretically all the color. Now it's taking a second to render. I'm not really sure why. Maybe my computer here. But anyways, so we're going to do it roughly first. We're going to go around the leaf and uh, try not to get the leaf. Okay, now I have to make the brush smaller. So I'm going to make the brush smaller. Now I'm going to take feather and I'm going to take it all the way down so I have a hard brush. And that way I could get into this area here a lot easier. I could get, there's some color left up in here, some stubborn color. I've noticed sometimes when you use the feather on the brush, it doesn't always get every little bit that you want. You want brushed away. So try to get in there a little tighter and uh, that's it um, that is now a selective color shot we uh, took the color out of everything except the leaf and um, it's really easy to do and I'm going to warn you guys ahead of time there's a lot of critics in photography and the critics today frown upon selective color and that like gets me so mad I don't think we should frown upon anything. Um, you know, photography is art and if it makes you happy and it makes, you know, makes you feel good because you feel like you created something, then by all means do it. Don't listen to the critics. I, it really bugs me uh, when these so-called experts get up and say, I remember I saw this one guy said that, oh, selective color is so 1990. Well, who cares? You know what I mean? Um, you like it? Do it. And uh, that's what I say. And, um, you know, think of uh, maybe when you're out composing. I found it hard, actually, 
uh, going through my library to find a shot that I could do selective color with, I didn't seem to really have a lot. So when you're out, have that in the back of your mind. When you're out taking some shots, if you see something, maybe um, some canoes in the water, and one of them is you know bright red, and the other ones are blue and yellow, and you want to make the you know that's a good selective color choice. You could have the bright red one. You know, or the bright yellow, if you want, whatever color you like. Um, you know, so you could get that idea in your head ahead of time, so you could um, look for those shots with your photographic eye when you're out taking shots. So that's it. A uh, very short episode, episode 27. I'd like to thank everyone who watches all my videos on my website and on YouTube. I really do appreciate it. If you guys could do me a favor, if you haven't already. Go over to YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, that would uh, that would be uh, really great. I'd really appreciate that. So until our next episode, everyone take care.